fine so in this session uh, i am going to explain you so all of you have uh, done the 3d modeling of piston and connecting rod have you done so this is the piston okay so here uh, wait for a while i will just share the screen okay all of you are getting the screen yes sir okay fine so this is the 3d model of piston so that has been created in uh, autocad okay so what you have to do once you create it you can save it right so whatever so if you just type click save so it will save in a part file see i will just show you so here uh, uh, it will save in this format see see in this format catia part file but if you want to do an analysis so you have to save the model into a iges format what do you mean by iges what is the full don't yes. don't know sir inti hello yes igs integrated graphic system okay so yes. how to save that so you need to click on file and save as so once you click on save as one window will open here in the save as type you need to click this drop down menu then you need to select igs say here integrated graphic system okay so here i will just save this so so click on save so directly it will save in the iges format file so once you save the model you need to uh, close this so if you open catia as well as uh, ansys it will take uh, more graphics okay so what you have to do so so here we have saved so igs file so next what you need to do here we have see so actually yesterday i forgot to send you the installation procedure of ansys workbench all of you have installed i think uh, in the beginning itself you have got that no sir okay so nobody has rem uh, remain remembered me okay you just so you send it to us sir we'll do it by today Okay, you just explain it. Sir. Today you just uh, remind me. Hmm? Okay, sir. I will just share the link. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here you have Workbench 2019 and 2020. So I'll just open this. So it will take more time uh, to open. So that's why I already opened it. Okay. So I'll just delete this. So. Okay. See here. So this is the ANSYS Workbench welcome page. Okay. So here. So. so Yes. Yes. Tell me. Any doubts? Okay. See here. So in the left side, you will get the types of analysis. So uh, for you, I am going to explain how to do static structural analysis. Okay. So what do you mean by static? What do you mean by static? anybody what do you mean by static yes what do you mean by static so noem itself indicates so when the body is at rest for that resting position whatever the load we will apply whether that particular load will sustain it or not that we are going to find out in static structural analysis okay so here i will show you so here we have static structural before that you need to set the units here here you have units okay so once uh, here uh, you need to set a kg meter like that so see this unit you need to set based on your 3d model if you have done the, your 3d model in millimeter You need you need to set this in terms of millimeter. See here, tens, millimeter, second, degree Celsius like that. So that uh, this I will select. So once you select it here, you have static structural. Okay. So just click it, double click it, or you just drag it. Okay. All of you are getting. 
Yes, sir. Okay. So before uh, uh, entering into analysis, you need to understand about the component, whatever you are going to design. Okay. So what is the loading condition and what is the boundary condition? Where it has to fix? Where the load uh, has to apply? Okay. Everything you you have to study. You need to study those things in the literature survey. Okay. If you download the literature paper, you will get what are all the loading condition, what are all the uh, boundary conditions. Okay. So once you click this uh, static structural analysis, here you have engineering data. So engineering data in this engineering data, you need to assign the material properties. Okay. So what are the static uh, material properties? Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio, and then density. Okay. Once you double click it, so the engineering uh, data uh, sources will open. See here. you have static structural and uh, st uh, structural steel but i need aluminum alloy uh, and then copper alloy like different materials if you if you want to add so what you have to do here you need to click on engineering data source okay click on this see see once you open the engineering data you will get only default material that is static structural uh, sorry structural steel so if you want to import uh, some more uh, data click on this engineering data source here you will get different types of materials okay so it has been categorized so first i will check this general material once you click on this general material see here you will get see here here you have many materials see gray cast iron if you want to add this gray cast iron click on this next if, if you want magnesium alloy click on this okay so it will add right so we have many aluminum alloy is there if you want to add you can add aluminum alloy next if you want to add composite material here you have composite material in this engineering data so once you click it you will get default uh, types of composite material see carbon fiber is there see carbon fiber 290 see this is depends on engs modulus so suppose if you want to use carbon fiber so usually we won't use carbon fiber for piston okay so just delete that so i'll show you how to delete because already i have added it so what you have to do next so once you assign it you need to click on this project or else you need to click on this okay project button so once you cl uh, click on project button so everything has been assigned if you want to check one more time just double click on this engineering data so just double click on this engineering data see see here once you click on this see i will just close this engineering data see all the materials whatever you have added it has been added right all of you are getting i will just delete this carbon fiber so right click on this you just delete it because we won't use this suppose see apart from the default engineering data uh, sources if you want to add any composite material what you need to do you need to click on this click here to add a new material once you click it so just give any name so suppose if i want to add uh, aluminum aluminum boron carbide so this is my new material right okay because so i won't find this in engineering data source in that case you can add like this just press enter see here you can observe here we have question mark icon right symbol it means you have not added any material here only you have created but you need to assign the material properties right which are the material properties for static structural so here density yes. density is required just double click on this you can give density so here in terms of uh, kg per meter cube i will select so this uh, i think uh, click on this yellow box so i will just give 1700 kg per meter cube okay so next again click on this aluminum boron carbide next engs modulus here you will get engs modulus linear static isotropic okay if you just click on this you will get see here engs modulus suppose if you have engs modulus about 190 mpa okay sorry 190 gpa that one so here you can change the unit in terms of gpa so giga pascals okay so here you will get 
okay in terms of mpa only we have sorry okay poisons ratio i will give 0.28 i sorry 0.33 so just uh, i have given the value see see this the these are the properties we have assigned see here question mark symbol has been gone okay so once you assign this see the, these are the properties of static structural analysis if you go to aluminum alloy so defaultly it has been added here right okay so like this you can add new material once you add it you just click on this project button next you need to import geometry how to import geometry just right click on this geometry So once you right click, click on this import geometry and browse it. Wherever you have saved it, you just open it. So I have saved it uh, in this, this. Here we have. So here Katia assembly. So yeah, here we have saved it. Just double click on this. So you have to wait until it gets a right mark symbol. So once you do this, you need to double click on this model. Okay. So just double click on the model. So the mechanical uh, AP uh, mechanical model will open to run the analysis. We need to assign. See, material properties has been assigned. Geometry we have created. Next we need to apply loads and uh, see. Next we need to mesh it. Okay, we have to do meshing here. I will show you how to mesh. So it will take more time to open mechanical model. See here, you can check the status starting mechanical model. Okay. Until it opens, you need to wait. So it will take more time to open. You have to wait. See here, it's opening now. Okay, see once it opens, you need to just see here so this is something uh, so you just close this so it will give tips so still it is taking wait I think it has been closed. Just I will double click once again. So actually, I have installed uh, all the softwares in my laptop. That's why it is taking much time. Okay. So we'll wait.
wait for a while see still it is processing so until it opens don't do anything I'll just close this see here see all of you are getting this see if yes, want, yeah if you want to rotate the model see here if you want to rotate the model so just click middle mouse button okay you just click it and move it it will rotate suppose if you want to move the model press shift and move middle uh, sorry press control and move okay if you want to zoom just scroll it okay so this is the uh, 3d model of piston so we have imported into ansys open see this is the user interface of mechanical model okay so here in the right uh, in the left uh, side you will get see this is the geometry which you have imported so here the materials which you have assigned okay so once you click on this material you need to set which material okay so here see so already we have assigned it see here once you click on this see once you click on this you need to select which material you need to test so i'll just select the static structural okay and then leave it or else you just click on this see here you see once you assign all these things so it won't run to all the material you need to specifically mention to which material you need to run the analysis here if you click on this component see piston so here you will get material assignment see here defaultly it has been set it to static st uh, sorry structural steel if you want to set it to aluminum alloy just click on aluminum alloy it will assign to the particular material see here aluminum alloy so once you assign it i will just minimize these things so you need to mesh right here we have mesh so what you have to do once you click on mesh here if you come to a detail uh, menu so i'll just make it up so here you go to sizing okay once you go to sizing here you will get see here span angle center click on this and give fine so if you give fine it will mesh properly clean mesh you will get so right click on the mesh and click on generate mesh see you just observe here see whatever the uh, model you are getting now you need to take the snap by using snipping tool all of you know na, how to uh, take the snap using snipping tool or else should i show you do you want me to show uh, how to take the uh, snip uh, snap of that uh, model i sir show me show us okay okay wait so let it run everything okay so meshing has been done see here you just close this see so we have done the meshing here so it is showing in this manner so you just click on this one minute see so this is how you will get the mesh. right so don't worry about all these things So what we'll do, so it should not come like this. It has to mesh properly. So what you will do, so here, fine I have given, you just give medium, a right click and give generate mesh. So let's check. 
see here how many faces we have. See here you are getting error. One or more entities fail to mesh the mesh. So if you want to read the error, so you need to go back to this. Here you have workbench. So click on this. See here you will get error. Unable to create model, either the application crash or workbench lost communication with it. Okay. So we are getting some problem here on meshing. So what we'll do, here medium we have given so once you click on this you want to Problem is creating here. Okay, so let it be. Okay, so see, it has been measured. See some problem in the software. You just install install it. You can do this. See here, we are getting some problem. So it, there is a problem in the model. I think so. So what I will do, I will just close this. I will I will import another model. Okay. So I think there is a problem in the model. So once again, I will go to geometry here. I right click. So I will replace. Uh, other geometry so i think there is a problem in this so we have uh, another model see here we have piston so that is in igs format just double click it so once you double click it double click on the model so here it is asking i've seen that i need to read it would you like to read it just click it so again you will get the model so there is a problem in the model so I think uh, meeting has uh, 10 minutes left. So if it is closed means uh, you can rejoin again uh, using same link. So wait until it opens. So if you get, if you, if you find any problem in the model, so you will get uh, error like that. Yeah, now you have got the model. See, if you want to add the snatch, so you have to open any, uh, see here, I will open word file here. So I just open the word file. So I have sent you the report, right? So same way you need to take the snaps and you need to add it. So I will show you how to take the snap. Okay, see, we have got the model here. So there was a problem in the model. So I think uh, you will get everything now. Okay, fine. So now what I will do, I will assign the material here. If you go to geometry, click on this um, piston and assign the material. See here, I will select assign. See now, you need to get right mark. 
So next, right click on the mesh. So I will make a sizing here fine. So here course is there. Just click on the fine. A right click and click on generate mesh. So I hope uh, you will get the mesh part here. It won't get uh, in this also. I think uh, there is a problem in the software. So I hope uh, it will not come. Let's see. Yeah, see. So there is a, there was a problem in the model. So now you have got the mesh part. So all of you got it. So once you uh, done uh, meshing, see here we have static structural. That means you need to assign loading condition. See, as uh, the of, uh, as the function of this piston. See, this is the gradient pin. This see static condition will be. So this uh, uh, this will be the fixed. And here I need to apply a combustion pressure, right? Okay. So this will be the combustion pressure. Fine. Okay. So what you have to do, you need to click on the static structural, sorry, right click on the static structural. Okay, go to insert, you need to fix, right? So here we have fixed support, click on the fixed support. So select this, hold control button and select it. Okay, again, hold control button and select these two locations if you want to fix. So once you fix it here, you need to click on apply. See here, right? Okay. Next, you need to apply pressure here. So how to apply pressure? Again, right click on the static structural. We have pressure here. Select both the surfaces holding control button. So once you select it here, you need to assign normal to only. So I think six MPA is the pressure. Okay. And click on this and apply. See here, the pressure has been applied. So if you want to add, see, click on the static structure, both the loading conditions has been uh, displayed here. If you want to add the snap, uh, this to report, click on the snipping tool. So click on the snipping tool. Once you click on the snipping tool, so you will get, you can search it and you will get the snipping tool. So click on this new. So once you click on new and take the snap, just copy it, file, sorry, edit, copy and go to a report wherever you want to paste it and click on see here you can paste it see where see here you just click on this and you can paste it see here like this you can take the uh, snaps and you can paste it see all of you got it okay once you apply loads and boundary condition you need to get the results which type of results if you click on this right click on this solution Click on this insert. If you want maximum deformation, click on this total deformation. If you want maximum stresses, again, right click on the solution, insert, stress and equivalent one mesh stress. That means maximum stress. Click on this. So you have got the both the things, right? So once you get it, you need to again, right click on the solution and you need to solve. See here, once you solve, you will get the maximum stresses. So it will take time again it depends on uh, okay it is see this It will take much time.
as we saw in the uh, yeah see so solution has been done if you want to check so click on this total deformation see this is the total deformation seven point five e raised to minus eleven so in terms of meters if you want in terms of millimeter so here you just click on this millimeter and you uh, click on this units and check on millimeter okay so again you need to run see here. Seven point five six into ten raised to minus eight millimeter. So this is the equivalent stress. Okay. So this is the maximum stress it is developing. So this is two less. Okay. If you want to uh, take the snap again, same procedure. Take the snap and put the results. And this see only you need to focus on this maximum stress and maximum deformation. Okay. All of you got it. So how to get how to uh, run the analysis? Mm, yes, sir. This is the basic part what I have explained you. So it will take uh, one and a half to two months to try, uh, try and uh, entire uh, ANSYS workbench. So this is the basic part of static structural analysis so that you can do uh, a basic type of analysis uh, of any component. And that too related to static structural. All of you got this. Okay, if you want yes, to sir. save the project, just click on this file and you can save the project here. So that wherever you want to save, you can save. See here. So it will ask where uh, you need to save. You just click the location and click on save button. All of you got it? Yes, sir. Okay. So you just uh, do whatever the project you want. Yesterday I sent you so many topics and finalize the uh, finalize your name. So you no know, finalize the project which you have selected. So just select the project. In the project with your name and USN, you just forward it to me in the group. Okay. So I'm going to add that uh, title uh, in the certificate. Okay. Okay. So by today only, you need to do that thing. Okay. Sir. Shall I wind up the session? Yes, sir. Okay. I will share this video. You can just follow the procedure. Thank you.